What was so how does like having a kid though play into that? Because you're you're friends with a lot of people that are like arguably like lifelong bachelors and fucking yes. like stand-ups in general, not really the best with commitment and things like right. that. Are, are where are you at with that? And like, is it are you finding good balance? Yeah, I think like because that's that's part of the the life shit that I've come to grow and grow to appreciate is it's like jokes got me here looking out into Kuwait. I see me feeding my son and I'm like, jokes got me here. Jokes are what got me able to care for my son and feed my son. Like, I can't believe some fucking dipshit right when my wife got pregnant. Right. It was one of her family members comes up to me when we're announcing it to the family. And she's like, she's like, wow, you're having a baby. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, how are you going to feed this thing? Or how are you going to support this kid? And I looked at her and I go with jokes. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? And she like, uh, uh, and it's like, no, you fuck you because you tried to make me feel less than or try to make some weird chip joke at me about how like something that you know nothing about. It's like, I'll show you my fucking uh, my, my tax returns if you'd like to really know what I'm bringing in. But it's like that 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 type of shit. I'm just trying to like the traditional way of, of being a family and, and, and earning a living. And, you know, I had, I had a dad who had the, who was a stockbroker and I had the stay at home mom. And I watched that crumble. I watched that break down and fucking die in front of me in a really intense way. So I know that that's not a safety net. That way of life doesn't guarantee anything. I would much rather be happy and show my son what it's like to attack your dream while also being a full service, loving family member. It's like if I, I, I'm, I'm so present and so there and so engaged in my son's life that he's like, whether he appreciates it or not, eventually, it doesn't matter. He'll never be able to say otherwise. So that's yeah. the, ba the balance is like, I'm around and I love it that's it what's great too is that lady she fucking what she's doing there is she's like it, she's reaffir trying to reaffirm to herself that her not following her dreams yeah. is the right thing to do and it's yeah. bullshit man like it's it's so scary to like take that leap of faith and pursue what you actually want to do and then you're just met with the most fucking toxicity and and there are a couple people like back to taylor clark like he's an awesome dad. Like he fucking yeah. loves being a dad. And mm -hmm. there are a few guys I know in comedy, my buddy just had a kid and like, I just know, like, are they going to be the guy that's like, Hey, do you fucking homework? And like, just like, mm -hmm. you know, you get to work to get anything. No, but they're going to be like that best friend. That's always there and like present and fucking like they love their kids. And I, I just like, I don't know why that, narrative isn't accepted in society as much like yeah. it seems like one that we should probably all agree to but yeah well that's what's funny ridiculous. man it's like people are like so you're on the road you're on the road all the time and i'm like yeah i'm gone for three to four days it, like it, four days is a lot but i'm like three days a week how long how how often was my dad around never because he worked constantly and i was asleep by the time he got home he yeah. worked monday through saturday doing wall street shit so it's like all this you're never around shit it's like no you're never around i'm actually around way more i'm around for the majority of the week during the day it's like you and know all that fucking stuff. you're you're happy with what you did and left too like yeah. you you're not like bringing that home to where it's like even when you're home you're not home exactly that's, yeah exactly that's another that's, huge piece of it just and that's the a, fucking that, corporate environment's brutal that way like yeah. it's and i think a lot of people are starting to see that too with like the work from home stuff is like right a lot of it like sitting in a car all the time probably isn't good for us like right, right. Yeah. It, it it might be worse to do that every day than for us to be in the same room all the time like yeah. it's, it's fucking crazy yeah and i i don't know i just uh it, it whatever's important to me, which, you know, I, I've gone through several phases in my life of what's important. I didn't think I would ever really be a dad. Like I knew I wanted to before comedy. And then I just didn't know because I was always worried because my dad was an actor. And then he kind of like 
I, we, I just filmed a documentary with him where we actually hashed it. We had it out about this particular incident, but he was like, you know, I never blamed you guys for why I didn't succeed in acting. And I'm like, I'm like, you kind of, you kind of did dude. And he's like, I, I did not. And I was like, I don't think you have 100% perfect recall to the things that you've said. And, so, and I started listing certain fights that we've gotten into. And he's like, oh, he like didn't remember any of it. And it's like, it's fine. It's fine. But don't pretend that that never <laughs> that that never happened. And that like, you know, the, the idea is that you're trying to own all of these things. I'm going to make mistakes as a dad and I'm going to I'm going to fuck up. But I also know that. I'm going to apologize and be present and and want to find out like how I fucked up and how I can make it better to my kid and how I can make it better to my wife because it's also the balance of being a dad and being a husband. It's like stand up is great, but you still got to take your wife out. You still have to be a proper partner. You mm -hmm. can't just like trade parenting duties like two ships passing in the night or whatever. You have to like you have to be engaged if you want it to work and it's like I've known I've known my wife since I was 10 years old. She's family even before we got married, you know, just because of how long that we've known each other and been invested into each other's lives. It's like, if I can't, if I can't care about her, then there is no prayer. <laughs> like I have no There's chance. There's no point to this shit too. Yeah. That's, yeah. I, I love what you said about that. Cause I, I just went to Alaska with my dad mm. and like, I don't know. There have been ebbs and flows in his and my relationship, like any relationship or whatever. But I do think comedy has helped me like be able to just sort of look at things differently and fucking like have these conversations that before I wouldn't have been able to have. And like you just you fucking and you also. One thing I think recovery ties into this a little bit, too, but mm -hmm. like your dad was just a fucking dude. Like it's yeah. there's some of that too where it's like you start getting older and you're like fuck man it's I didn't I don't know what I'm doing now how the hell did he know and he was yeah. just doing the best he could but it's I mean white privilege but it's, <laughs> it's I mean like it, but but it does like I think so comedy opened me up to be able to have those conversations right and then sure. being being a father opened me up to emotional like openness to being empathetic like truly empathetic towards other people I've grown at when I first became a dad, people were like, so do you feel like, do you feel a little understanding of your father's behavior? And like, and, and, how, and I was like, no, actually I'm angrier. I was initially angrier because I was like, how the fuck I love my son so much. How do you let it get to this point where we're at odds? We're not talking for 10 plus years. Damn. And it's like, and it's a real like contentious, often violent, like, you know, verbally abusive, emotionally manipulative, all that stuff. It's like that got me really, really angry. And then through the process of only even two years of being a parent, it's it softened me a little bit to just being like, hey, man, whatever, <laughs> like whatever that stuff is, our relationship as father son is kind of over now. Like I'm the dad now. I, I have I have the responsibility of of curating this boy's life and and equipping him with the emotional maturity and awareness and ability to adapt to certain situations it's like this is on me if i'm hanging out with the feelings that i had and the resentments that i had from my childhood then i've learned nothing and there's no point to me even being a father for sure you know so it's it's like that that type of 360 and openness after I've had or 180, I should say, and have a kid and being able to kind of like see my dad's life because he was abused. He had a really tough upbringing. And I always knew that. But being a dad and being like so in love with my son, it's 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 made me feel a little bit more for my dad and his emotional shortcomings. It's not it's, it's obviously he's responsible for his own shit, but a lot of it, it's not really his fault like some of the stuff it's just not his fault that he wasn't equipped with the ability to have even this kind of conversation for sure